don't do it. Being me, I'm a total opposite. I did not come here to the party. That was a bad shot. <laughs> uh, okay, so organized by season. So what we mean by this is your clothes. Do not, I repeat, do not bring your whole Artemar closet collection of clothes. You don't need it. Organized by season. First semester is fall and winter, honey. Bring fall mm -hmm. and winter clothes. But remember, if you start school in August like we do, it's still going to be hot. And don't forget, September is like Indian it's summer that warm. happens. So like bring little things like this, but don't bring like, oh, I'm going to bring my whole summer whole gear because you nope. don't need it. It's not necessary. It's not necessary. And then spring break, not spring break, winter break comes. Swap out some of those clothes for more wintery clothes because you have to remember, mm -hmm. you will be back. In January. And it's cold. And your win your fall your what spring spring break does not happen till March or April, mm -hmm. honey. It's still cold we between them be couple freezing. months. You need your uh you need the long socks. You remember Bring when your mom when you put long clothes socks on? Back. You need them. You need the hat and the socks. When scarf. you go home, take those summer fall clothes home and bring your winter clothes with you, mm -hmm. honey. Bring the sweaters and the slippers and the suit. Mm-hmm. Spring break comes, honey. That's where you could bring your hoe and clothes back. Mm-hmm. Because you're going to be mad as hell when you cold and all you got is crop tops. All you got is crop tops, honey. Mm -hmm. So organize your clothing by season so bring certain seasons with you like label a tote fall put your fall clothes in it and bring that specific tote with you do not bring your whole collection of clothes because you don't, you don't have it. room for it you don't got room and especially you don't as freshmen it. you definitely do not have room for all Ooh, of your clothes that could be another video we'll do a room tour his room and my room so you can see like the difference, the difference between a gay guy and a street girl yes um, go on a go on a tour to see the rooms to know what space is available. I wish that I would have done this, but it didn't matter to me in the long run. But just so that you could get a feel of your environment, so you could know like how your space is set up. Same as if you were shopping for an apartment, you want to see it before you start paying rent. Okay, so to bounce off what Ajane is saying, I took a tour. They personally showed me upper classmen dorms. That's why I that's why I didn't know because they showed us the rich people she dorms. Said, they show you the upper classmen dorms. They don't show you you what have you to ask Let me see the project. to look at the freshman dorms. <laughs> because upper class personally in our college, upper classmen dorms have more furniture, I guess you could say. More furniture than and more freshmen space. do. I'm I'm coming to college thinking, Oh, I'm gonna have like you have table yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna have an armor. I got here. I had a dresser. A dresser. One. I was like, oh, okay. I was like, do I get my armor later? Or? And then the upperclassmen, they have drawers under your bed. Me personally, I packed for them drawers under my bed. I moved into my freshman dorm and they were not there. I'm looking like, where the drawers at? Nope. I was supposed to call somebody. So, you know, get a And drawer. make sure your parents are aware. I'm throwing shade at my parents. Make sure your parents are aware that they need to stay with you for a little bit so they can take stuff home so it doesn't take up all that space. Because I have mad totes under my bed for no reason. Exactly. My aunt dropped at me. At Ginger. <laughs> my, my aunt dropped me off and she was like, oh, okay, you're good. And she zoomed out of here. Now I got three totes. I got uh, so many. If you need a hanger, come see me because I got all the hangers. I, I have got, at least I a thousand hangers. hangers. I promise you, there's a whole bag over there, Ajane, of like a thousand hangers. I got all the hangers. Oh, our friend Tyler, she might be in the video. She got my hangers because I ain't need them. I got no, all the hangers. Me use some of mine. I got all of them. So um, if y'all need us, let us know. We might do a giveaway. <laughs> Where Tyler and Paul, y'all gonna need them hangers, all right? Giveaway. Okay, I wrote this because I'm fat. Don't forget snacks, okay? You think, oh, I'm on a meal plan. I don't need snacks. But on on the weekends, our dino hall it closes at two and it doesn't open again until like four thirty. And on Sundays, if you don't wake up until like then you gotta wait till 4 30. So don't forget your snacks. Plus, you can make a lot of friends over snacks. Funny story when me and Austin <laughs> were still getting to know each other, um, he asked me if I had sippy sippy in my room, and I was like, What? He was like, You got drinks in your room? I was like, Yeah, I got beverages. He came upstairs, he saw my little cupboard. Oh, that's smart. Keep one of your storage bins, put all your snacks in it because it's safe, it's easy. Rats don't get in it. We don't got rats, <laughs> but I'm just saying, rats no. don't get in it. No, honey. You. I'm going to say this right now. Whatever college you go to, honey, you're going to have mice. That's just a thing, especially if your college is old like ours. Our school is 150 years old. Our freshman dorms were born when, were born, were built when the college was built. There's going to be mice. Well, I don't have mice or rats, but put your snacks in tilts because it's just organized and easy. You just pull out your little cupboard. But, yeah, back to the way. Um, don't forget your snacks because you're going to need them to be hungry, sippy, sippy friends. 
<laughs> to be to be friends. <laughs> Uh, Nickelodeon. <laughs> Copyright flag right there. <laughs> no, word, chill out. Don't sue us. Oh, I saw a crazy um conspiracy theory about Dan Schneider. So what's his name? The one who made the toys all that? Crazy, I'm gonna show you. Conspiracy theory. I love those. If you're not watching Shane Dawson, go watch him. Those conspiracy theories are good. Um, okay, so she wrote this, so she'll better explain it more than I can. Uh, put shoes in the bottom of the bags. I didn't write that. It says put shoes on the bottom inside of bags. So oh. When you're packing, when you're, when you're packing your storage bin, take your shoes and put them in plastic bags, obviously, so dirt don't get on your clothes, and you place them on the bottom because they're hard, so it gives you a nice, hard, even bottom, and then you can stack your clothes on top versus having a whole entire tote full of shoes. But boys are different, so yeah, if you're a boy who's got, on mine in one yeah, if you're a boy with a thousand pairs of shoes and sneakers, then you know to each his own. But I don't, how many pairs of sneakers do I have? One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven. This is my home, basically. Slides. So I packed as if I was going to be home. I bought my Uggs, my Ugg slippers. I bought two pairs of sandals, and I bought some slides. And I bought I bought Vans when I got here. Like okay. I had them, but I brought new ones. So we're going to kind of, like, dive a little deeper into that. We're going to take a couple minutes to dive a little deeper into that. So for shoes, I personally brought a pair of slippers, a pair of slides, a pair of, what are those called, Crocs? You got Crocs? I do have Crocs. I want some, but you know they told me that they're going out of business. Crocs ain't no more. Because nobody buy them. Why? Everybody buys Crocs. Exactly. I, I have that. two pairs of dress shoes, and I have three pairs of sneakers. Only because, one, it's college. You're going to have to dress up regardless. Like, even if you just want to or you need to, you're, like, I would bring dress-up clothes and dress-up, like, for females, I've seen a couple girls, they have a couple pairs of heels. They have some flats. Maybe, like, uh, and then it also depends on where you're located to your school, because I live about five, ten minutes away, so I was like, if I don't need to bring all my high heels and stuff, because if I really need it and I'm going out for an event, I just dip home or have my mom come drop them off. So it also depends on where you're located. He got a text message from Cole, so I'm going to take it. We'll edit this. He'll probably edit this out. That small period. I'm not. <laughs> it's going to stay. <laughs> um, so unprofessional. Okay. I wrote this, and you agree, because I already know. Talk to your roommate beforehand. They give us our room assignments three, four days a week in advance so that I can mm -hmm. talk. I had mine a couple months in advance. I didn't have mine a couple months in advance. Nonetheless, you get it in advance. They give us your email. So I email you. Email me back. Give me yeah. your number. Shay was just thrown at my roommate. At, to, at his roommate. <laughs> give me your number so we can talk and get to know each other. So because... Like our school, sorry to cut you off. Like our school, you're only allowed to have one fridge and one TV in the room because of the power no, situation. No, lies. Um, we can have uh -huh. no, no. Yanni and Marcus explained to me you can have um, two fridges if they're both that small. You can have two of them, or if you have if it's a tall one, if it it's only a tall be one. one, it can only be one. Cause like people who have um, triples, triples or whatever, three of them in a room, they can all uh, have a fridge. They, they can all have their own. So you can have mini fridges, each can have their own or one big one. My mini fridge is maybe like three feet by three feet. So yeah, you can have multiple of those, but if it's a big one, y'all wow, you can't have three big ass fridges. Yeah, like you can't have big stuff. So when they give you that information for your roommate, like even if it's just their email, take time out to email your mm -hmm. roommate. Get to know your roommate before you move into school so y'all already have kind of boundaries like a bond and, and a bond boundaries. before you move in. So that way, like say if you're a night owl, right yeah a yeah. night owl and you're up all night but your roommate has an 8 a.m class but you already know that ahead of time and y'all set that boundary instead of moving in and not knowing any information on your roommate mm -hmm. it's easier to know ahead of time so you, so you can set your mindset and be like oh crap like let me be considerate for my roommate instead of moving in and not knowing anything also purchases we in college we freshmen all of us 18 19 we broke some of us came in here with jobs some of us quit our job to be here we broke and no nobody got money to be spending if you want to go half with a tv that works for me because we're going to be here for a year so people talking about oh i don't want to go half who's going to get at the end of the year sis if i know you and we get to know each other and we're friends you can take it home for the summer make sure you bring it back when we move in sophomore year a lot of colleges they do where sophomore junior and senior year you can request your roommate yeah see. so freshman year if you make a good bond with your roommate Get her you can year. request that roommate for your sophomore mm -hmm. junior and senior year so that tv that y'all both went half on and invested in mm -hmm. now is your tv for four years yep 
So we could go half on the TV. We could go half on the fridge. Because at the end of the day, don't nobody got money to just be spending and spending and spending. Textbooks is expensive. And I like cold beverages. That's why I don't got a fridge now because my roommate never want to text me back. When I text her, talk about something you want to No shade throw, no shade throw because no, no, we like it. We actually no, like it. Yeah, we like it. No shade, no shade or nothing. But I mean, shit. A bitch get tired of room temperature water. Okay, this one. Decorations are important. Because, as you can see, this is Concrete. white brick walls. Concrete. You do not want to come in your freshman dorms, especially freshman dorms, and be living in a jail cell. I can't wait till we do room tours, because my room, my side of my room, again, no shade, is fine as hell. I got twinkle lights and everything. Okay, but we're going to have to talk to our roommates and tell them they need to clean their side, too, because I'm showing my side. I ain't showing her side. I mean, I guess I could show the luxury and then the simplest, I guess. No offense, no shade. She don't watch my videos, so it's okay. But decorations are very important because, like Ajane said, this is your, you're pretty much your home for a full year. You're going to want it to feel like home. You don't want to be here and not like or enjoy your environment especially for me i know personally i don't feel comfortable unless i can feel personally comfortable in that environment if i can't have that environment feel like myself then i i don't personally feel comfortable in that environment I, if I that makes you. sense yeah because also winter time coming so we're not going to be hanging out in the quad no more we're going to be nope. in our room 24 7 and if your room is like a jail cell you're going to feel like your ass is locked up <laughs> oh i'm ready for this one i'm excited because i wrote it you're not here for friends you're not you're not here to make friends. At the end of the day, you're here to get your degree. You're here to better yourself so that when you leave here, you have your foot in the game. Like, you're supposed to come here making business connections. You're not here to make friends. If friends come along, then, they then come so along. be it. But you're not here for friends. So if anybody going to college with the mindset of, oh, I want to party and make friends, nope. you're a dub, go home. Because we're here to learn, get our education. Friends come along, though, which is good, because everyone needs friends and compassion in life. I read humans, it's a fact, like, you people need, like, five hugs a day, like, to just, you know. Aww. Yeah. That's cool. <laughs> but yeah friends are not what you come here for but if you make them then so be it it's cool kind of to bounce off what she says i personally look at it from like a money point of view so like in our last video we she mentioned we spend forty two thousand dollars to come here a school year i didn't spend forty two thousand dollars to come here and party and make friends I mean, and I just hang out all day That's it, <laughs> <laughs> i came here to get my degree my degree only like i tried to explain to my uh my freshman seminar class I did not come here to party, I did not come here to make friends, I didn't come here for people like me, and I did not come here for me to like people. Hello! I came here for my degree and my degree only. My education is my number one priority. So, and like she says, if friends come along, they come along. But don't come here with that mindset, I'm here to party, I'm here to fuck, I'm here to make friends. No, you're, you're, but think about it financially, you're spending, or even if the government is, they're spending all that money for you to get your degree not friends yep at the end of the day that bill is for the diploma and the degree that bill is not oh she friends with me and he friends with me nope shit let my mother find because i will I throw here. friends away quicker than quick if they interfere with my education let my mother find out i came here to make friends she'll be my ass so quick excuse his roommate he i like he don't know what's going on over there dropping cans <laughs> no shade though <laughs> at steven steven you want to come say hello to the fans slide through right quick We'll probably edit. This is my roomie. We'll edit it out. You'll though. see him in future videos. Hey. hey. Okay. You'll see him in future videos. Uh, uh, um, um, packing tips. Oh, yeah, this video was supposed to be strictly packing tips, but yeah. there's a lot going on with college that people need to know about. You're going to so, hear a lot of rants, guys. Yeah. Especially when midterm and finals come up. We should do a study video on how to study properly. Oh, yeah, we could do that. Because I've learned personally a lot of different study tips. Never told a lot. Just being here. Okay. Because high school... Sorry to cut you off. High school, I did not have to study not one bit and pass all my classes with flying colors. High school studying Here, was a myth. Child, if you do not study, you will fail that test. Okay. Gonna come back with big fat ass. Like. I won't pay $42,000 for F. And the, that's what I'm saying. I did not pay $42,000 to come here for an F. Uh -uh. Child, no. We've already mentioned them with, like, other tips and stuff. Ooh, what's happening? My uncle just texted me. Oh. We mentioned it with other tips, but storage bins are your friends. I don't... Don't be the person to come with six suitcases because you look dumb. You need storage bins. Storage bins because are efficient, and they pack a bunch of stuff. And store... You have to think, too, if you pack all of your stuff, stuff in... What's that called? Luggage? That luggage is going to take up a lot more space, whereas if you buy six totes from Walmart that are the same exact size... 
and pack your stuff in that and you go in the store and you see how they're stacked up you already have that mindset you can stack them back up and take up that vertical space instead of that horizontal space. I only needed three, and they also... Oh, bed rises are necessary because you can lift your bed and put uh, stuff under uh, it. I'll I wish I found. invested in that. Yeah, I put my storage bins under my bed. All three of them. One is strictly for snacks. The other two are empty. But I packed all of my stuff in three totes. And then, like, bags and stuff. But bags, that makes sense because you go shopping. You don't want to unpack the bags. But that, that, that. Storage bins are useful, though. So stock up on those. And... When that back to school sale hit, don't be afraid to catch a sale and use coupons. Three ninety nine, sweetie. Three ninety nine for my storage bins. My storage bins were expensive. I wish I did a back to school sale. Okay, so I'm not gonna pick up a sticky note because I have one in my head right now. Um. Okay, so me personally, I live about two and a half hours away from my college, so I had to leave my job in order to come to school. So I had that mindset of not having a job for a decent amount of time in school because when I didn't come here, I did not come here for a job. I came here for my education. So me personally, I don't know if any other college kids do this or not. I bought school supplies based on how much I think I'll need throughout that school year. Just in case I don't find a job throughout the school year, mm -hmm. I have enough supplies for that school year. Okay. So I have a tote under my bed designated for extra school supplies. Which is smart because if you don't use them this year, you're going to use them next you're year. You're going to use them next year so you don't have to don't, spend money. Don't forget, you might say, no, not me. You're broke. You need to save all the money and pinch all the coins you can because you're broke. We've never, oh my gosh, I can tell you how many people, I did EOF for the summertime and we had bank all summer long. Every single student had money all summer long. All of us are in college now. We're broker than a joke. You None of us have a dollar to our name. Over the summer, I was like, oh, I'm living my best life. I was going out, spending money on this, that, and the third, shopping sprees at the mall. I get here. I was living all right because we started in summer. So I get here. I still had a little bit of chump change in my pocket. I was a balling. Now, it's week three. I open my wallet. Fly, well, week fly four out. now. Oh, week four. We've been We're here a for month a month. School. We're a month in. I open my wallet. The flies flutter out. I'm like, Whew. I'm like, damn, laundry or subway? <laughs> Literally that decision last night. <laughs> laundry or subway? Yeah. Um, meds are important. Expect them not to be genderist is that the word sexist there you go. not to be sexist um meds are important especially if you're a girl you get cramps and say you haven't made friends on your floor yet and you're not comfortable asking people and you got see he's pulling them out and you got cramps you're gonna need them and get variety because you might make friends who are allergic to some things you never know you catch that cold and you can't miss class daytime cold and flu you got cramps ibuprofen What's this? You got heartburn, antacid. See, you, I didn't even know about heartburn, but heartburn, so I got grown. Peroxide. You need peroxide, clean your wounds, Advil, Advil for the headaches. You need it all. Don't forget, you need band-aids, band you need gauze. Um, what else? I have gauze. Yeah, you need band-aids, you need gauze, you need meal. Oh, my gosh. Bring extra toothbrushes. You do not, okay, this is college. Regardless if you think you're clean or not, something is going to happen to your toothbrush. And you're not going to expect it. Bring extra toothbrushes because even it's like I'm Ajane, for example. I'm just saying, like okay, nothing's happened to my. Not, but I have plenty of extra toothbrushes. I thought ahead of time. What if I accidentally drop my toothbrush in the toilet or something, or drop my toothbrush on the floor? Those nasty bathrooms. I'm not going to reuse that toothbrush. So I brought extras just in case. You're smart. I might borrow one of those to see my sneakers. And I, I have a, a toothbrush designated for sneakers. <laughs> So yeah, back up on your meds, you know, Austin got the, oh, Pepto-Bismol, he got the pharmacy cabinet down here, extra toothpaste, all that. Um, um, dishes. So, me and her had a little disagreement with this the other day. To eat Do not all. bring plastic dishes. Bring reusable stuff, personally. Because you don't want to keep pocketing, I mean, spending all this money on plastic dishes when you can use reusable stuff. I understand all of that because, you know, <laughs> I'm the advocate for we're broke out here, but dishes, okay, so you got two plates, two forks, two spoons, two knives, two cups, blah, blah, blah. that's cool, but you got to wash them, right? So that means you need a sponge and you need dish soap. Okay, that's so it. you bring okay. a pack of sponges okay, and a dish cool. bottle. That's fine. <laughs> I mean, to me, I just feel as though it's an inconvenience. I live on the third floor. The lounge is downstairs on the first. If I'm eating spaghetti, I got to go to the first floor. No, I'm washing it in the bathroom. You see? See? And that's where, 
that's where, that's where conflict and issues arise because I don't want to go in the bathroom to brush my teeth and I see SpaghettiOs in the sink. That's nasty. We got to allow for that. So to avoid all of that conflict and avoid real, all of that though. beef, go to Costco, get that bulk because you're not going to use 98 forks in a year. I doubt it. You're not going to use 98 spoons. I doubt it. I'm a crafty person, so bitch, I'm going to come up with something to use them for. <laughs> well, so, far, so far, I ain't used that many of them, you know. Plus, I've, I've made friends. Friends is what, what I didn't come here for, but I made friends. So, you know, I asked her for a spoon if I need it. But don't, don't do it. Up to you if you want to be washing dishes every time you eat. But yeah, that's like more of a personal decision. Yeah. Um, toiletries. Okay, so personally, our school provides toiletries. Toilet paper? That's what it's called? Yeah. They'll provide toilet paper, but don't depend on it because I ain't even going to lie. I went to the bathroom the other day and, it's like and it was no paper. tissue. No, not even because it's sandpaper, but you ever be in a rush and you just got to go to the bathroom, mm-hmm. poop or pee, and you go, you pee, and you like, oh, okay. You reach your hand for some tissue, and, and it ain't no none. tissue. It ain't no tissue. None. Like, and our school, personally, they come every every day, every business day Yeah, they don't to come clean on the, the bathroom. Weekend. They don't come on the weekends. So, like, if they put a fresh roll of toilet paper in there on Monday and it's starting to run out Friday, they're not replacing it Friday. They're going to replace it Monday. So, you're stuck. If it runs out on the weekend, it runs out on the weekend. It's cool, though, because at his roommate, Steven, he got toilet paper. So, if I ever am in a rut, I'm going to just, I'm, I'm just come down here. See? Look, on deck. I ain't playing. <laughs> Um, oh, girl toiletries. You think, oh, I'll just buy them when the time comes. Nope, buy them ahead of buy time. Buy them ahead of time. If you go in my room, I got all the tampons, I got all the pads, because you never know when your period might come out the blue, because when, because girls don't notice, but when you're living with a close group of girls, or you're around a group of girls for a long time, you your guys periods get are going to sink. You got a girl, shut up, this is my time. Your periods get in sync. So your period uh, might come uh, earlier than it's supposed to, it might come later than it was supposed to, it might last longer, it might be shorter, you never know. And you would hate to be caught out there and you don't have nothing to use at all. And personally for me, I just feel as though it's embarrassing and it means you're not prepared if you have to ask another girl, oh, can I borrow a pad, can I borrow a tampon? Because it's like, since you grow, you should have been to without periods. So in advance, don't be embarrassed to be at ShopRite with the bulk thing of tampons because I don't care, I got the 68 pack. <laughs> And learn how to shower. We'll edit that. <laughs> learn how to shower. That's very, very, very important. Not even necessarily learning how to shower. Just know how, how to, to properly yeah, do it. How to properly do it in an efficient amount of time. Because you don't want to be that girl that's in the bathroom for an hour, hour 45. Learn how to take a quick 15, quick 10. So you late for because class, learn how to shower. Because you have to remember minutes. our school. So we both, uh, well, our building... And for example, it has both community bathrooms and, like, house bathroom. Yeah. But everybody uses the bathroom. Mm-hmm. So it's like, you don't want to be that person. Okay, so, like, the girls' floor, the basement the, floor the, the basement has a floor community, has community girls' bathroom. bathroom and a community guy bathroom. Mm-hmm. The second and third floor, the guys' floor and the last female floor, they have house bathrooms, but it's five bathrooms on a floor. Mm-hmm. There's 40 students per floor. 40? You don't, yeah. There's 40 people who live upstairs yeah. with me? There should be. Oh. Uh, that's crazy. No, it's probably less than that. I mean, yeah. yeah. I'm sure the third floor has no, the th- Yanni told me the third floor has the most girls, but I don't feel like it's forty bitches up there. Excuse me. Probably not. Um, but you have to remember, you don't want to be that type of person, especially if, let's say, thirty percent of the people on the floor have an eight a.m. class. You don't want to be that one person that gets up at seven thirty, and showers for an hour. Yeah. Because other people have to use that bathroom. Mm-hmm. Yes, there's five bathrooms. But if it's 30% of that floor that have an 8 a.m. Exactly. class, they're not all going to be able to shower. Mm-hmm. So learn how to take quick five minutes. For me, a five minute is I get in, my whole body get wet. You hit the spots that you know you need to hit. You hit the underarm, you hit the coops, you hit the boots. Then you do everything else. You rinse and then you dip. Perfect five minutes. If you go for a 15, then you could scrub for scrub. real, for real. And if you got time and it's like 2 o'clock in the morning and you hit in that hour, do whatever you do in the hour. Because in the hour, for me, I wash, I shave, I wash, I listen to music, I think, you know. But this at home. I don't got time for that. Me, personally, I did, me and my, because I lived in the apartments at our school for the summertime. Um, me and my roommates, we all kind of set a schedule on when to shower. So they shower, because we all had to be up 7 a.m., and we were all not back to our room till 11.30 p.m. Mm-hmm. So I, we set that schedule, 11.30 p.m. from 12 o'clock. That was my shower time. Then my roommates, my, not my roommates, my sweet mates, because I didn't have a roommate. One of them was from 
6 to 6.30 a.m. Other one was 6.30 to 7 a.m. Because mm -hmm. we were out of the door by 7.15. So I took my shower the night before. Mm -hmm. They took their shower the morning of. Yeah, see, that works if it's like a small group of people, like if you live in a suite. But if you're, again, in a dorm on the floor with multiple girls, then you just got to, like, you just got to learn how to work with each other mm -hmm. without having a set schedule. Because that would be annoying to be like, oh, shit, I got to wake up at 5.30 to take a shower because mad girls on my floor. So instead of it getting to that extreme point, just be considerate and stuff. And don't be afraid to take a shower the night before. People be saying you take a shower the night before you wake up, you dirty. Wake up and dirty how? If you're not a heavy night sweater and That's you what I'm don't, saying. if you don't drool a lot. Sorry, not to cut you're you fine. But yeah, if you don't drool a lot and you don't sweat a lot, you take that shower at 12 o'clock when everybody sleep. You get your hour shower and you're good. Just make sure you take a bird bath in the morning. Simple. And my whole thing was like, okay, so if you move in and you buy fresh linen, brand new linen, you put it on your bed, you not even because your first day of college you're not going to spend in your room honestly you're, not. you're going to set up and then you're going to leave and explore campus regardless mm -hmm. even if you're here for like um orientation or something like that you can't be in your room for orientation nope. you have to go outside it's yep. mandatory but like for me so, it's, I'm oh, <laughs> so if you're putting fresh linen on your bed and then you shower that night and you sleep in that clean linen your body is clean your linen's not getting dirty because now you're clean your linen was brand new so, when you think about it, you're not, how are you going to get dirty in your sleep if you're sleeping on clean linen? Exactly. So, it's like, me personally, I used to shower a lot, like, at nighttime because I'm building up all that sweat and I'm getting dirty throughout the day. My whole thing was, like, why shower in the morning if I'm just going to get dirty afterwards anyway? I guess it's a personal preference. Like, for me, back home, I used to shower at night to wash off my day. I used to shower in the morning to wash off my sleep, which was whatever just a personal thing wash off my sleep then when I come home you know blah, blah, blah. but living here I do showers at night and then I shower every other morning so I still I shower every single night but I shower every other morning if that makes sense that makes sense mm -hmm. yeah so every single night I shower so Monday through Sunday I shower every night but I only wash up in the morning like Monday morning Wednesday morning etc just because like timing and stuff sometimes you wake up late for that 8 30 class and you don't got time to take a shower I mean you're not dirty but you just don't got time so especially being in college like you think okay you have like at home me my whole family could tell you I was a uh, what's the what is it called an early bird I would go to sleep nine o'clock every night here child we are not going to bed till 2 3 o'clock in the yeah. morning every morning even if you got that 8 a.m because i got an 8 30 and i don't know why it's just maybe it's something that's about, just the it's the energy in the school yeah it's like the energy of being around a bunch of different people and even though you're settled in it's still like the excitement of oh i'm really in college mm -hmm. and it's like it's always something to do there's always always something to do so you think oh i gotta go to bed at eight o'clock because i got class 8 30 in the morning you don't have to i mean it's good if you do but you don't got to because mm -hmm. i go to sleep at like three and i still make sure i wake up for 8 30 so because like we said before in the video you have to keep that mindset that you're here for your education your education mm -hmm. only you're not spending that money to be like to be stupid like there's been plenty of mornings where i've been tired and i've woken up and i'm like oh, i don't want to go to class today but i keep that mindset i'm not spending four thousand dollars a class not to go to class yep 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 um we just have a couple more things guys. clean is the He's gotta clean um, I think I mentioned, was it the video? Yeah, moderate your party, and that's what we started with. Here we go. Clean the supplies, okay? Because you never know when you're going to need to clean something up. Not even necessarily if it's throw up from a party, but mm. just in general. Like, I spilled juice. You're going to have to clean it up. You can't let it air dry and get sticky. Or, oh, it's dusty in here. Or you just might just be a real cleanly person, and you like to clean up. That's what y'all need to learn how to do. Clean up. I have my roommate. So, yeah. Get a broom. Since you're going to be mad. Get a broom. Get a dust pan, you know. This video needs a lot of editing now. It does. Get a room, get a dust pan, you know, clean up, et cetera. Um, clean the supplies that I think are handy. Paper towels, Lysol wipes. That's basically it. Okay. Um, oh, for breeze. Smell good. Okay. So our school, our smoke detectors are very, very sensitive. So you have to be cautious of what <laughs> things you buy at... <laughs> at at building me because we're not gonna we're not gonna put her That's name out there. That's another story time for four years from now when we graduate. For, yeah, because <laughs> we'll be kicked off campus for that. <laughs> we're gonna edit that out. Got to get it <laughs> But just just keep in mind what types of smell goods you buy because you can't have candles. Nope. 
you can't have candles, you can have air freshener, but if it's an aerosol and it's very strong, like air wicks come out like a really strong stream. Yeah, don't spray, spray it by the smoke detectors. And you don't want to be that bitch that's always making um, fire alarm go off. These are very We good. have this. Mm. This is a fun hack my mom taught me. When you have this and it starts to dry out and get crusty, put water in it because it makes the jelly wet. People think it doesn't work, but it does. It, it does. It actually got stronger. Since yeah, we put it the makes water it in stronger there. and it lasts longer. So when it gets crusty and you think you got to throw it out, just put some water And I have two, three different Febrezes. So um, I'll get both Febrezes. Get the Febreze for fabric to spray your bed and, and then the, the one air for one. the air one. Because when, when your bed smells good, the air smells good, your room's clean, you walk in, it's a pleasant smell, and it makes mm-hmm. you feel good. And it's, you feel comfortable in a comfortable environment that smells good. Okay, we have two more things. Post-it notes. As you can tell from these last two videos, we love our post-it notes. The post-it notes are very also very important because... If you have, if you're in class and your teacher pretty much like, it's like, oh, you have an assignment due, da, 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 like, base, like really, really fast, and you don't have time to pull out your planner, which we'll get into next, you can easily pull out a, okay, so me, I color coordinate each of my classes, so each class is a certain color. So, say I'm in my freshman seminar class, right, and um, my, it's blue, my freshman seminar class is blue right now, but like, it were purple, so like, I would pull out my purple stick sticky notes or post-it notes and I would write whatever thing she just told me down right fast and then I would fu- blah, blah, blah. <gasps> I would look at the post-it note later on because now I know that color is for a certain class so that note is for that class mm-hmm. if that makes sense it makes sense I'm not that um what's the word frugal anal there we go that's the word I'm not talking about the sex stuff but I'm mm-hmm. not that I'm not that anal when it comes to like my notes and stuff. Posts are easy though because you could just write down a quick thought or when you're taking notes when you have to read a certain textbook or something like that. But yeah. And I'm also not anal because I don't have a planner because I feel as though it's unnecessary. Oh, I have a planner too. Because I feel that it's 2018, everything is done on a phone or should be done on your phone. So I just be like, Siri, remind me, da 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 Siri, tell me to do 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 And she tells me and I don't forget. So a planner for me is just a waste of money because I'm going to write all the stuff down and I'm never going to look at it. Meanwhile, I tell Siri, tell me what's up and she tell me. Okay, so me personally, I have a wall planner or like a wall calendar. Oh, yeah, a calendar on the wall, that's common sense. If you don't got a calendar on your wall, you flack it. How are you going to know what day it is? Because, How are you going to know when something due? Yeah, you, I personally write all my important dates on it. So if I have meetings, because trust me, especially if you're an EOF student, you're going to have lots of meetings. So if you have a meeting, write down that meeting the day you find out what day you have that meeting or like times and stupid stuff like that. Or like if you're applying for jobs and they call you and they're like, oh, we have a job interview blah 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 at this time write that down immediately because as stu- it, it helps with organization because as a college student you're going to get busy your brain going to start slacking you could say in high school you remember sorry you're fine. you could say in high school you remember everything that you had to do but in college it's too especially because your schedule isn't set like a high school schedule it's mm-hmm. not every single day you have the same classes at the same time for me my, my schedule mimics itself but it's not the same mondays and thursdays Mondays and Wednesdays, I have the same classes. Tuesdays and Thursdays, I have the same classes. Friday, it's a whole different class. So you got to keep the, a format and keep a schedule. Also, if you don't have a calendar, you're just not a person because everybody needs a calendar. So you know what day it is. You know what month it is. You know what's going on. So you have a sense of time. If you don't got a calendar, you tripping. If you don't got a calendar, you that person who'll be like, uh, what's today? And if, yes, you have a calendar, like she said, like, everyone has phones nowadays. You have that calendar on your phone, but it's always nice to have that visual calendar. Just you yeah. instantly look over your wall and be like, okay, like, mm-hmm. this is due today or this has to be done. Mm-hmm. Instead of having to pull out my phone, type in a password, go to it, And I can just wake up in the morning. And for me, when I wake up, before I hop in my shower and start to get dressed, I look at my wall. I'm like, today's Monday the 22nd. I don't have nothing to do today after classes. is lit. Or, mm-hmm. oh, today's Thursday. I got seven classes to do plus all of this. Okay, I know what I got to do. Oh, small fact, because it was in my brain. He keeps saying EOS, and we don't know if other schools have that or if all schools have that. All schools have that. Yeah, I know, but some don't. Some people don't know what that is. EOS stands for Equal Opportunity Fund. It definitely doesn't. Yes, it does. Educational Opportunity Fund. What did I say? <laughs> Equal. And it's pretty much, um, so, me personally, a lot of other schools are different, though. Um, my college, it was a five-week program. You came and took th- three, yeah, they're all the same four. College. Uh, some colleges are seven weeks. Oh. My third was seven weeks. I don't even know what I'm talking about. But uh, ours was five weeks. We came, we took three summer, three or four, four summer courses. Yeah, four summer courses. And 
Okay, so you do the summer courses and it's pretty much like a rushed paced class for college, but it's done within that time frame. You get that college credit, like you get those credits for that class, um, and you get like money towards your education. So our school, our college, our credit thing is different. So like for every one credit at our college, it's four credits at a different college. So here now I have four credits from those classes, which is 16 credits at a different school. So I already have a 4.0 GPA. So like you're kind of ahead of all the other students if you do EOF because you have one you you have that first foot in the door. You already learn your way around campus. You meet a lot of the faculty. Plus you already have that 4.0 GPA, and then you actually have extra money on your like on your account, which helps. It honestly helps. So if you, if you have a free summer, honestly do it. Even if you don't have a free summer and you have a job or something like that, but you need that extra cash, I would recommend doing it. Yes, it's a very time consuming and tiring process, but it's worth it at the end of the day. When you edit this, you should zoom in on my face and play sleepy music because I know <laughs> for a fact that I was just like zoned out. <laughs> yeah. Um, any more tips or advice? No, that's the end of this video, guys. We, we should do a part two because I just thought of like seven different things to talk about, but this video is already 40 minutes, so we're going to do part two. It'll definitely be edited though. <laughs> All right, so we're going to do a part two. If you like this video, give this a uh, thumb. Blah, blah, blah. Give, if you, got you, got you. <laughs> I'll do the outro. Um, thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Um, comment, like, subscribe. Um, press the bell for post notifications for when he posts stuff. Um, I'll probably be featured in more videos. We'll feature some of our other college friends, and we're going to do life hacks college hacks dorm hacks we're gonna do story some time, vlogs vlogs i'm not a report of story time right now we might do some pranks and stuff so be on the lookout um his um social media info will be in the intro and mine will be listed in the description box thank you bye ew ew